Father, we give you praise. We worship your holy name. We celebrate your faithfulness. Thank you, Father, for guarding us yourself. Unto you is the guardian of your people. Father, Lord, thank you for your agenda for our lives. Thank you for this brand new month. Thank you for what, oh God, you have packaged for us. We know you are the God that daily loads us with benefits. You are the God of our salvation. Thank you for the blessings and the benefits that await us in this month. We give you praise, we give you glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are praying in this few minutes as we begin to look into your word that you will cause our ears to hear from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Speak to every heart. Lord, open our eyes to behold wondrous things out of your word. Oh Lord, heaven, open our hearts, O oh God, to be receptive to the spirit of your word. We thank you, O oh God, that our minds, O oh God, will be transformed by the hearing of your word. We are asking, O oh God, for miracles. Heal the sick, deliver your press, set the captives free, glorify the name of your son Jesus. We thank you, Father. Let there be miracles in every life. Let there be salvation of soul for the lost. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. And we call it down in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen. amen and amen and amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Good to see every one of us in the house of God. Good to see you on Zoom, wherever you're joining from. Good to see you on social media, Facebook, YouTube, FMTV Live, wherever you're joining from. We're glad you're part of this service. If you are watching on Facebook, I uh, want you to please share this book so that somebody can be blessed because of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you are watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I want to thank God that our YouTube channel is on the rise. Please subscribe so that many, so that whenever we come on, you can be notified. Amen. Happy New Month, everybody. Happy Amen. Glory be to God. We have a prophetic word for this month. God has given us a prophetic word this month. Amen. Amen. Um, the, the prophetic month says, The glory of the Lord my God shall appear and be seen on the building project of my life, my career, and my destiny. Hello, somebody. It's a mouthful, but it's a full blessing. Hallelujah. Somebody said, the, the glory of the Lord my God shall be seen, shall, be seen, shall, appear, shall appear, and be seen, and be seen on the building project, on the building project of, my life, of my life, my destiny, my destiny and, my career. and my career. One more time, so we say, the, the glory of the Lord my God. The glory of the Lord my God shall appear, shall appear and, be seen and be seen on the building project, on the building project of, my life, of my life, my career, my career and, my and my destiny. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, that will be the story and the prophecy of your life. Amen. That the glory of the Lord your God shall appear and be seen on the building project of your life, your destiny, and your career mm -hmm. in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start a teaching on how, you know, you, that can become a reality for us. How the glory of the Lord, my God, can appear and be seen on the building project of my life, my destiny, and my career. That is God's plan for our life. We know that God has a plan for us, and this is His plan it is revealed to us in scriptures. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. The plan of God is to reveal his glory in our life. This is our build up here in Psalm 102 verse 16. It says, When the Lord shall build up Zion, it shall appear in his glory. Amen. So our build up here, the plan of God is to release his glory, to cause his glory to appear and be seen on our lives. Amen. Every building has a peculiar glory. Hello, somebody. Amen. And our life is God's building project. Amen. Your life, your destiny, your career is God's building project. My life is God's building project. Amen. And when God builds, there's going to be glory. Our life is going to become glorious. Amen. Your life will become glorious. Amen. If you believe in say believe in amen. Amen. So whatever God builds, whatever God builds, whether it's your life, whether it's your uh, career, your destiny, 
it will ultimately reveal the glory of God. And our life is a project. It's a building project. So expect the glory of God to be seen on your life. Somebody say, I'm expecting, I'm expecting the, glory the glory of God to appear, to appear and, be and be seen on my life. On my life. Because my life my life is God's building project. God's building project. Yeah, your life, my life, your career is God's building project. In First Corinthians chapter three and verse number nine, the Bible says, "We are laborers together with God. We are God's husbandry. You are God's building. Your life is God's building." Hello, somebody. So your life is a project. It's an ongoing project. And God will continue to add to your life, will continue to beautify your life, you know, line upon line, precept upon precept, a little here, a little there, until the glory of God is fully seen. Amen. And I prophesy it will begin now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I say it will begin now in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. So that's, that is what it, what is peculiar about a building. It's, you know, Precept upon precept, line upon line, there a little, here a little, and before you know it, the building begins to uh, attract, you know, investors. Amen. It begins to attract people, attention. That will become the story of your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So the good news is that God has ordained your life and my life for glory. Someone say, my life, my life is, ordained is ordained and appointed, and appointed to, reflect to reflect the glory of God. Say one more time, my life is ordained and appointed to reflect and manifest and the glory of God. The glory. In Zechariah chapter 2 verse 8, the word of God says, the Lord of hosts has, you know, uh, the, for those said the Lord of hosts, after the glory as he sent me to the nations after the glory after the glory so god has ordained glory for your life Amen. god has ordained his glory for your life for my life for your career your destiny whatever has to do with you it will reflect the glory of god the glory of God shall be seen on your life in Amen. the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. On your career, on your business, Amen. on your family, whatever has to do with you will, 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 will carry or have a touch of God's glory. Amen. When we talk about glory, what do we mean? Glory means the beauty of God. Amen. Glory is the beauty of the Lord. That is the beauty of the Lord shall be seen on your life. Amen. The splendor of God. Amen. The grandeur the impressions of God shall be seen. That's what glory is. Glory is the splendor, the grandeur of God will be seen on your life. The majesty, the magnificence of God. You know, Jesus, when Jesus manifested on earth, in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible says Jesus is the brightness of God's glory. Jesus is the brightness of God's glory. Jesus is the express image of the glory of God. Jesus is the highest expression of the beauty of God. Hello, somebody. Amen. The life of Jesus was is so beautiful. That's why you know they were asking Jesus, say, show us the Father. Jesus said, He that has seen me has seen the Father. Because Jesus embodied everything that God wants to uh, communicate to us. Amen. His wisdom, his love, his uh his uh, affection. His, his care, his concern, his power, his ability, his knowledge. He said, nobody ever speak like this man before. So Jesus was the higher, is still the highest expression of the beauty of God. No wonder Jesus was or is a wonder. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. One of the uh, meaning of another meaning for glory is a wonder. Mm. A wonder. Something that causes astonishment. Yes, so God has ordained your life to be a wonder. Amen. Your life will become wonderful. Amen. It will Amen. cause astonishment. Your career, your destiny. Amen. That's why you should be excited. God is working on your life. Amen. I said God is working on your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, I am as a wonder to many. 
Yes, Psalm 71 verse 7. I am as a wonder to many. So your life is going to become a wonder to many. An amazement, you know, a spectacular life for people to behold. Somebody said, they say, I am as a wonder to many. I am as a wonder to many. Say, my life is turning out. My life is turning out. As a wonder to many. As a wonder. My career is turning out. My career is turning out. My destiny is going to manifest as a wonder to many. Yeah, that is, it will be wonderful. Amen. Yeah, it will be amazing. Amen. It will be colorful. Amen. Yes, it will be spectacular. Amen. There's going to be some magnificent in your life. So, God is working on you. Someone say, I'm a work in progress. Work say, in my life is a project. My life the glory of God is going to be seen in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah, God is working and is still on the project. He has begun the good work. When we talk about glory, glory also means beauty. Your life shall be beautiful. In every situation, your life shall be beautiful. Amen. You will express the beauty of God in all situations of your life. You will experience the beauty of God. Somebody say, I will experience. I will experience. The beauty of God. That's what glory. Glory talks about beauty. The beauty of the Lord God. In Psalm 48, verse 1 and 2, the Bible says, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness. Verse 2 says, Is beautiful for situation. The joy of the earth. Is beautiful in every situation. So God wants to bring beauty into your life in Amen. every situation. There will be beauty in your life. Amen. That's what the glory means. That is, in, in the midst of rubble, your life will, act, will, will manifest or radiate the glory of God. Amen. Beautiful for situation. It's going to bring beauty in our situation. You know, people have ugly situations. But God is going to beautify the situations of your life, the circumstance of your life, so that when people think it is all over, they will now see the beauty of God will show forth. That's what glory is. Amen. The beauty of God will show forth in the midst of uh, uh, ugly, ugliness. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? Yeah, the beauty of the Lord shall be seen upon your life in the name of Jesus amen. Christ. In Psalm 90, I'm moving, and we're moving. Hello, somebody. Psalm 90, verse 15. The Bible says, Psalm 90, we're going to read verse 15 to 17. It says, Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us, and the years wherein we have seen evil. Have you been afflicted? Have you experienced evil? There's going to be a gladness. Amen. Look at the next verse, verse 16. It says, Let thy work appear unto your servant and thy glory unto what? Thy children. Yes. In the midst of the affliction, in the place of affliction, in the place of evil and pain Amen. and hurt. Yes. It says make, let your work let your work appear. What is the work? The work of his glory. Unto your children. Let your work appear unto your servant and your glory unto what? Thy children. He said, let the beauty of the Lord our God be upon us. Let the beauty, someone say the beauty of the Lord. The beauty of the Lord. The beauty of the Lord our God. Let it be upon us. Amen. Establish that the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands, what? Establish it. God will establish the work of your hands. Amen. That's why we say the beauty of the Lord shall appear and be seen on your life, on your, on your destiny, on your career. Hello, sir. There are no empty words. Yes, I was saying, oh, it's a long thing. But that is what God wants to do. God wants to do a thorough work. Mm -hmm. He wants His beauty to be seen on the works of your head. Stretch out your head before me. Say, let the beauty of the Lord be seen on the works of my hand. Put that hand upon your head. Say, let the beauty of the Lord, my God, be upon my life, be upon my destiny, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, let every affliction, let every evil, let it be turned around. Let the beauty of God appear in the, in the, in the place of pain, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You know, the glory is the reason why God gives us beauty for ashes. In Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3, it says to appoint to them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty 
for ashes. Every ash light in your life, every ashes in your life, I see the beauty coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything that has been turned into a rubble in your life, God shall beautify it. Every circumstance and condition of your life that the enemy has afflicted you and he has brought ashes, he said, to give them beauty for ashes. Yes, the oil of joy for money. Yes, you know the enemy wants to destroy, but God wants to build. Amen. Yeah, when there are ashes, God gives beauty. When there is mourning, God gives joy. Amen. Can I hear amen? amen? I see joy coming in the mighty name amen. of Jesus. Say, weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. When your joy comes, when your joy hour comes, the glory of God has come upon your life. Amen. Can I hear amen? amen? We had a testimony this morning. Mommy was saying, my daughter, she was sick, she was that now. But she's happy now. Mm. She's free. That's it. Amen. You know, God is turning things around. Amen. Yeah, what the enemy meant for evil, God turns it around. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the oil of joy for money. It's the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Amen. I see heaviness vanishing in your life. Amen. I see, I see heaviness vanishing in your life. Amen. The burdens of your life will go. Yes. In the place of body, you're going to have praise. Amen. That's what the beauty of God. Look at this. Are you see there? It says what? That they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. So the essence is to bring glory to our life. Amen. Yeah, because when the glory of God comes our, upon us, God is going to be glorified. God is going to receive glory. Amen. Yeah. So he turns our beauty into ashes. He turns the morning and gives us the oil of joy. I mean, our ashes into beauty. I beg your pardon. He turns our ashes into beauty. Amen. He gives us oil of joy in the place of money. He also gives us uh, the garment of praise in the place of heaviness mm -hmm. that he might be glorified Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Every ashes around your life are returned to beauty. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. anywhere there has been anything that has been burned down, destroyed, yes. afflicted by the enemy, the beauty of God is going to come upon it. It's going to come upon your life, your Amen. career, your dreams, Amen. your desires in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. And it's going to give you the oil of joy in the place of money. Your morning days are over. Amen. I say your morning days are over. Amen. The glory of God will bring celebration and rejoicing into your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the garment of praise in the place of heaviness. Amen. You will not be heavy this month. Amen. You will not be heavy again in your Amen. life. You will always have reason to praise God. Amen. You know what the enemy wants to do is to bring us to a place of heaviness. Mm. But God introduces the garment of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory is marvel, marvelous. That's another meaning for glory. Marvelous. I want to say marvelous. marvelous. In Isaiah 29, verse 14, God says, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among these people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. A. God says, I will proceed. God will proceed Amen. to do a marvelous work in your life. He was going to do a marvelous work in our life, in our midst. And a wonder. Amen. Yeah, that's what glory is. That's why when God works, you're going to say, this is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our eyes. Everything that God does brings marvel. Amen. Because we want to marvel. It's a wonder. As Psalm 1, 1, 8, verse 23. This is the doing of the Lord. It is what? Marvelous in our eyes. It's going to be marvelous in your eyes. You're going to see the doing of God in your life. Because God says, I will proceed and do, to do a marvelous work among these people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. And it's going to be marvelous in your eyes. Amen. Can I hear amen? amen? In Job chapter 5, watch this now. Job chapter 5, verse 8 and 9. It said, I will seek unto God Unto God will I commit my cause. Why? Which doeth what great things, unsearchable, marvelous things without number. Amen. That's what God does. Great things, unsearchable things, marvelous things without number. Hello, somebody. Amen. That's what. That's why when when the Lord shall build our life, the glory of God shall be seen because that's what God does. 
great things. Someone say, I'm expecting great things. Say, I will see great things. The great things of God in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. You receive it in your spirit. Amen. Yes. Great things. It's a marvelous thing. What? Without number. Yeah. Limitless. Marvelous things. Plenty marvelous things are about to happen in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you believe it, take the blessing, take Amen. the glory. I say, take the glory in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Everything God does, in fact, the Bible was saying in Mark, Matthew chapter 6, verse 28 to 30, it said, Why do you take thought for raiment? It said, Consider the limit of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they sing. Yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of the lilies that God bring. Beautiful plants. Everything that God does. Look at the universe. Everything. So why won't your life, my life, be glorious? Amen. Why won't the glory of God, the beauty of God, the splendor of God be seen in our life? Even the lilies of the field. Yes. Yeah. It says, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the hole. Shall he not much more clothe you with his glory? Where is your faith? Only oh, of little faith. Somebody say, I'm believing God. I'm believing oh, God. Oh, come on, talk to me. Say, I'm believing God. I'm believing God. To see great glory upon my life. The beauty of God. The beauty of the Lord our God shall be upon our life. Amen. Upon your life. Amen. There's going to be splendor Amen. upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah. That's what God wants to do. You, you, you will see it and you will experience it in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. God wants to adorn our life and to deck our lives with his beauty and his glory and his splendor and his majesty. So get excited. I'm about to manifest or to reveal the glory of God. It's about to be seen in your life. Your best days are ahead of you. Amen. Yeah, God says, I will proceed to do a marvelous work. I can't wait to see what God will do in your life. Amen. I can't wait to see what God will do concerning your destiny. Amen. I can't wait to see what God will do in your career. I can't wait to see what God will do Amen. on your job. Because Amen. God wants to do something marvelous Amen. for people to see. It shall be seen and it shall appear. Amen. God wants to deck your life with Amen. his beauty. Amen. He wants to deck your life with his splendor. Amen. He wants to bring majesty to your life and your Amen. career. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank Let God. me say something to us here by the Spirit of God. You see, some people might have experienced a certain level of God's glory and beauty in their life. But God wants to heighten it. God wants to raise the bar. He wants to raise the level. Can I hear you? Amen. A new dimension of glory is about to appear on the building of your life. Amen. I say a new dimension of glory is about to appear on the building of your life. Amen. In Haggai chapter 2, in Haggai chapter 2, from verse 1 to 5, look at this. I'm going to read verse 9. It said, In the seventh month, what month are we in? Seven. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel something now. <laughs> Watch this. In the seventh month, in the one and twentieth day of the month, came the word of the Lord by the prophet Hagar of Bishop Alava, saying, Speak now to household of faith for all nations. Amen. Say to them, the high priest, the rest of you, he said, Who is left among you that saw this house in our first glory? And how do you see it now? How is it in your eyes comparing a comparison of what it was? As if, you know, in your eyes comparing of it as what? Nothing. So how do you see? see? So there is a dimension of glory that God is about to bring. He says, which of you have seen this house? What are you talking about the house? Talking about the house of your life. Maybe you have, that's what I say, maybe you have expressed a level of beauty, glory, of goodness of God in your life. God wants to heighten it in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. He said, who, who, who saw this house in the former glory? Then look at the next verse. He said, yet now be strong, O Zimbabwe, O household of faith for all nations, say the Lord, and be strong, Joshua, the high priest, be strong, all ye people of this commission. Say what the Lord and walk for what I am with you, said the Lord. 
according to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt. So my spirit remained among you. Fear not. Then you go to verse 9. It said, The glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former. Amen. The glory of this latter house. Someone say the glory of this latter house. Oh my God. Say the glory of this latter house. Say a new dimension of glory. A new dimension of glory. Is coming upon my life. Say a new dimension of beauty of God. Say I thank God for the former glory. But I'm excited about the glory that God is about to reveal. The glory of this latter house shall be greater. In the name of Jesus, there shall be greater glory on your life, in your career. In your family, in your home, in everything that pertains to you, I prophesy greater glory. Amen. A new season of greater glory Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory is in levels. They say, Which of you saw this house in his first glory? That the first glory is not all the glory that is that it that is. Yeah, the first glory is not the all, all the glory that is. There is another glory Amen. that is about to be revealed in your life. Amen. Maybe you have tasted beauty. You have seen the goodness of God. But God is not done yet. Amen. I say God is not done yet in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God is not done yet. Yes, God is about to do something new. So I will proceed to do a marvelous work. Even a wonder among these people. Amen. So don't be afraid. Something good is about to hit your life. Amen. Something big is coming your way. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are different levels of glory. In 1 Corinthians 15 verse 41. It said there is one glory of the sun. Another glory of the moon. Another glory of the stars. For one star different from another what? In glory. So there are different levels of glory. Amen. God will change the level of your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. That's why I said God wants to heighten the dimension of the glory that is coming upon your life. Amen. 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 Or maybe you are even you might have even been down in the dumps. Mm. But get ready for a new dimension of glory. Amen. A new season of glory in your life and destiny. God wants to bring glory. So whether you have reached, you have enjoyed a certain level, or maybe you have been down, you've never experienced glory before, get ready for glory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 to 18. It says, For the which cause we faint not, though our outward man perisheth, our inward man is what renewed day by day. For our light affliction. Have you suffered affliction? God says it's a light affliction. And it is but for a moment. What is the affliction working? It is working for us. What? An eternal, exceeding eternal weight of glory. Hey, my God. Somebody say a weight of glory is about to come to my, upon my life. Yeah, a weight of glory. Heavy glory. Heavy glory. Somebody say a weight of glory. A weight of glory. Glory has weight. Amen. It's going to be weighty. Amen. Heavy dimension of God's beauty and goodness Amen. and the wonder. So our light affliction, somebody say my affliction. My affliction. Is but for a moment. It's but for a and moment. the affliction is walking a mighty dimension of glory. I wish I could tell you about Joseph. <laughs> yeah. Joseph was afflicted. Who was betrayed? Who was thrown into the pit? From the pit. He was sold a slave. He was thrown into the pit. From the pit. He went into slavery. I mean in, into prison. If he had heard this message while I was preaching it, and I said, God is about to bring a new dimension of glory because he has been in the dump. And, he, 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 you know, the, down in the dumps there, he might be wondering, how can this be? Yeah. But when the glory of God, when the glory came upon him, yeah, it was a great glory Amen. that all the world had to recognize it. Amen. I mean, come to, to, to serve him. Even the brothers couldn't recognize it. Can you imagine the kind of glory that will come upon your life? That your brothers and your your siblings, not just one of them, and a whole lot of them, ten of them couldn't recognize you. Come on, your the the, 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 the splendor, the majesty. They couldn't recognize it because God and the same God, my God, I feel yes, it. Lord. The same God. Oh, can somebody believe God? Yes, I say, can somebody believe God? Yes, 
Yes. Somebody say the same God. The same God. Yeah, it's about to purify my life. It's about to bring glory into my life. Glory glory into my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. That's why the Bible says, Why we look not at the things which are seen, yes, Lord. for the things which are seen are temporal. Wow. But the things which are not seen are eternal. I'm talking to you about what you cannot see, yes. which God is about to do. Ah. God has sent me to you. He said, after the glory, Amen. as he sent me to you. Yeah, so that the glory of God can be revealed in your life. So that the glory of God can be seen in Amen. your life. In your career, in your destiny. Amen. Somebody said, the glory is about to appear. Oh, say, it shall be seen. Say, I believe God. There shall be glory on my life, on my destiny, on my career. Yes, around me in this ministry, there's going to be a glory, a new dimension of glory is about to be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say a new dimension of glory is about to be revealed. I prophesy, the God that doeth wonders, marvelous things without number, is about to bring glory to your life. It's about to bring glory to your career. It's about to bring glory to your business. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the glory begin to appear. Let the glory begin to appear. Let the glory begin to appear. Let the glory begin to appear. The glory of the Lord will begin to appear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. There shall be. Thank you, Father. In your life. In, in your life. In your, life, in your career. Oh, in your destiny. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 That's what God wants to do. Thank you, Father. Get ready for glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Position for glory. Our, the affliction is not the end of the story. It's for a moment. Yeah. Sometimes you might think as if it's lasting for a long time. That's not going to be every affliction has a spiritual date. And the glory comes to terminate the affliction. That's why I say he will give us beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus. The oil of joy for money and the garment of praise that he might be glorified in the name of jesus christ glory be to god i'm looking at my time but let me let me just you know give us one uh powerful activator i can't i don't even think i can complete even the days but i'll just study hello somebody the part one powerful activator of god's glory in our lives yes what is the Powerful activator number one is the word of God, Amen. the entrance of His word, the entrance of His word into our hearts. When the word of God enters your heart, and I'm glad you begin to receive it now, you are activating the glory. Hello, somebody. Amen. When the word of God enters into your heart, you are activating glory. In Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, it says, Arise, shine, for the light is come. And the glory of God is risen upon you. Arise, shine, for your light is come. And the glory of God is risen upon you. Say, Behold, darkness shall cover the earth. Gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you. And his glory shall be seen upon you. Amen. So your case is different. Amen. I say your case is different. Amen. What makes your case different is the entrance of his word. Yes, sir. It says the Gentiles shall come to your light. Kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. Amen. So let the word of God enter into you. Yes. Yeah. It says arise shine for your light is come. How does your light come? How does our light come? The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of his word it giveth light. It giveth understanding to the simple. The entrance of the word. May the word enter into you. Amen. I say may the word of God enter into you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The entrance of his word. It giveth light. So when the word, like this word, prophetic word now is coming to you, let it enter not just, you know, uh, let it not just be in your mind. Let it enter your spirit. Let it transform your thinking. Begin to allow it to penetrate. He said, the entrance of his word, it gives light. It gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Amen. That's how it is. Just believe that a new glory is coming upon my life. In some, in Isaiah chapter nine verse eight, he said, he sent a word to Jacob, 
and it lighted upon all Israel. It lighted upon Israel. It lighted Israel. He sent a word and it lighted Israel. Can I hear amen? amen? So the word of God comes to produce, when we talk about light, we're talking about re revelation, illumination. That, hey, my life affliction is but for a moment. Amen. It's working for me an eternal weight of glory. My story is about to change. Amen. God has spoken. His word cannot return to him void. Amen. God has proposed to change my life. Amen. He has sent me his word that he's doing a marvelous work Amen. in my life. Wonders without number. Yeah, everything God does is with the world. He said, In the beginning was the world, the world was with God. Same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by the world, and without the world was not anything made that was made. He said, In Him was life, and the life was what the light of men. And that light, once it comes, it shines in darkness, and no darkness can hinder him. The entrance of His world. So, how do you manifest the glory? Let the word enter into you. Amen. The Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 2, when he spoke to me, the spirit entered into me. There's a spirit behind every word that God speaks. Amen. Hello, somebody. Let the spirit of the word enter into you that look, a new level, a new dimension of glory, a new season of glory, a new touch of glory. It's coming into my life. Amen. It's coming upon my life. Say, I receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So the entrance of his word. Allow the word to enter into you. Believe the words. Soak it in. Absorb it. The Bible, we're talking about Joseph in Psalm 105, verse 17 to 22. It said, he sent Joseph before them, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron. Until the time that his word came. And when his word came, the king, you know, uh, the word of the Lord, what tried him. The king said, What well, are you saying? When the moment they told Joseph, said, The king is calling for you. Joseph said, Ah, my hour has come. This is my hour of glory. I can tell. When the king has spoken, has called for me. God has spoken concerning you. Amen. It must be your hour. Amen. I said it must be your hour. Amen. He took away the prison garment. He shaved himself. Do something has occurred to him. Let your disposition change by the word of God that you have received. That this is my hour. A new glory is about to be seen in my life. I don't know what state you have been, but a new glory is about to appear. He said, the, when, when his word came, the, the word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and loosed him. You shall be loosed from Amen. every captivity, every bondage in the name of I say, be loosed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even the ruler of the people, and let him what goes free. He was loosed. Yeah, Jesus met a woman in the temple and said to her, Woman, thou art loosed. And she immediately she straightened up. She straightened up because the word came. You see, somebody can tell somebody, You are loosed. And the person says, For what? <laughs> <laughs> For what? I've been in this thing, I've been 18 years. How can you just say I'm loose? I don't know how long they have been in a situation, but in the name of Jesus Christ, the word of glory has come. Amen. I said the word of glory has come. Amen. Let the word enter into you. Let the word intoxicate you. Amen. Yeah. He said the king said, I'm losing. Joseph has been in prison. They sent for him. He knew that his hour was coming. And he made him what Lord over his house and ruler over his sister. Immediately, it doesn't take long. It doesn't take a century for our story to change. Once the word of God enters into you, liberty has come. Amen. Yeah, liberty. Wherever the spirit of God is, yes. there is liberty. Change comes once somebody believes. I believe after the glory God has set up. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the glory of God begin to appear. Amen. May the glory of God begin to sing. Amen. May the glory of God begin to rise as you are receiving God's word in the name of Jesus Christ. In your life, the life of in your career, the life of your loved ones connected to you. I say may your story begin to change. Amen. The glory, the beauty of God, the awesomeness of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The prisoners began to bind princes at his pleasure. The prisoner began to be the one binding princes. My God, it's a new level. Amen. I say it's a new level. Amen. So he began to teach his senators wisdom. Your own word is coming into you right now. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.